Wow, what a time to be alive. What is currently happening? Maybe you noticed this darkness again. It feels like a dark loop is in the sky. It is in the air. I don't know if you feel the same way. And what I saw, but always pick up what resonates with your heart because we are really all in this together. You know, I have very crazy dreams, astral projections. We had a crazy experience in 2021. They gang stalking us and yeah, that's not fun, but that's other subject. And I had very crazy dreams and visions and I want to share this with you. Maybe it helps you to understand what humanity is going through and what you feel right now. The Anunnaki are not amused. There are some, they still hold on on the old world. Not all of them. Get out of this. They are all good and all bad. Because we cannot speak for one race. Like all Pleiadians are friendly, all Syrians are friendly, all Anunnaki are bad. It is the same when we say all Germans are evil, all Aborigines are kind, all US citizens are very kind. It is exact the same. Try to get out of this and deserve more with your heart. And there are some groups I saw, they still hold on on the old world. For example, Enki is one of them. Yes. He still holds on on the old world. And they had many, many plans for us. I talk about the so-called end times. And they are not amazed because many things are not working out. They planned, which is better for us. I feel a great solar flash will not come. Believe me, it's better. Because this was the plan by Enki. They wanted to create the artificial Armageddon program to reduce so many people as possible. And the great solar flash has an impact onto the technology here. Let's say we would have a blackout two months, one month, or maybe two weeks. Imagine, no tap water is working, no heaters are working, no cars are running. Most cars are working with electricity and with the AI. No credit card is working. No airplane is working. You cannot go into a supermarket and buy food. But the biggest problem would be water. That we have no tap water. And from where do we get fresh water? Hmm. Do you understand? That's not a fantasy awakening. It would cost so many lives, innocent people. And that was their final end game to come with a great solar flash. And when it is a great solar flash, may I ask, is a great solar flash a X2 solar flare, like we had it recently? Is it a X5 solar flare, a X7 or when? Or is it more like a wave and the sun activity is now very powerful and then sooner or later it slows down again like water. Up and down, up and down and that's what I see. Yeah, they had technology to control the sun. The Anunnaki have. They try to control everything. It is a typical trait. I cannot speak for all of these beings, but a typical trait by the fallen Anunnaki is they cannot trust in nature. They cannot trust in the unknown. They must control everything. This means controlling even the divine flow. And when do we speak about a great solar flash, may I ask? When? Is a great solar flash a C8 solar flare? When? What if it's just a wave up and down, up and down, 
And sooner or later, and that's what I'm sensing, the sun activity is calming down again. And now we are in a period of time in which the sun is very powerful. And I had these visions last night and two days ago. They are not amazed because many plans they had are not becoming true. And they tried to install a fully Armageddon program. And do you know why all this craziness? Because when so many people are gone, they cannot refuse. How should they refuse when a new system is coming? A new AI world. Everything based on the AI. And so much people are left. They cannot refuse. And that's their plan. You understand? Do you got me now? You know it's fucking dangerous to talk about this. I got attacked 24 hours, guys. My nervous system, my body, every day. I got attacked. And I speak it out anyway. Because I see many starseeds are so confused. They don't know what to believe anymore. And please don't allow this division because they want to see you fighting. And you must do this first to yourself before you're calling out people as bad. Because when you see it from a higher perspective, everyone vibrates in their own consciousness level, in a different frequency. And in my next video, I'm going to explain to you the evolution of humanity. Because I had this vision two days ago. Because humanity is a species. Humanity is a race. And the more you go the step way higher, the more you change. And this plan is fixed by God. Imagine humanity is going through the process, through the evolution. And we must go through this. Always to find a way back home to source. And it's a divine game, a plan, if you will. God experiences itself from many different colors. And this process we are going through is part of the divine process too. Otherwise, we cannot jump higher as humans. So let's say when we talk about dimensions like 3D, 4D, 5D, 60, 70, it explains the evolution of humanity. Okay? And in every dimension, you have other lessons to learn, I saw. And you exist multiple times. Many of you, you still live in 5D, in 60, in 70. And there are many souls living in 4D. And I saw that many people on earth are from 4D. I saw it again. But I had the honor to see in 2021. Many people which you see here on earth are from 4D. The higher selves are in 4D. So it doesn't mean they are bad or evil, but they go through their cycle, through their evolution. Many star seeds are from 5D. So most star seeds which are walking the earth, they are from 5D and your higher self is still there. And this is next stage for humanity, 5D. Because it's the divine flow. The divine flow is telling us, you're coming closer to me. Now you go up to 5D. And then you have new lessons to learn. So 5D is not the end goal. There is so much to discover. Even when you live in 9D, there is so much to discover. But your consciousness changes. Your behavior is changing. And your physical appearance is changing. And this plan is fixed. Imagine nature. Nature is going through her circle as well. She's dying. She's growing stronger. Flowers are growing. Imagine even the animals go through the same circle. Maybe it helps you to understand, but that's what I saw in my visions, okay? There are some groups, the Anunnaki, not all of them. You cannot speak for all 
Anunnaki, you cannot speak for all Pleiadians, for all Syrians. It's like when we say all Germans are evil, all Aborigines are friendly, all US citizens are super friendly, because that's bullshit. You find in every species some beings that have destructive intentions, you find them everywhere, be it the Pleiadians, the Syrians, everywhere, because it's your free will, it's your choice how you act on okay just saying yeah but there is a group these are the anunnaki because they took an important role here on earth they still hold on on the old world and there's much happening at the moment in higher dimensions and that's why the energy feels so heavy and so dark and i had a vision about enki last night and two days ago he is a nephilim Maybe you know what I'm talking about. I saw him with black wings. He is a fallen angel. He was an angel. You know him from the Bible. I'm not kidding. I saw this already so, so many times who he is. And I saw this in 2021 too. He's Ashtar as well. Ashtar is Enki. He's Lucifer. It's a consciousness, if you will. And they all belong to the same bloodline. And they always have the same spark. You see them in their eyes. So when you see an illustration of Ashtar, maybe you know what I'm talking about. They have these stars in their eyes like us, like we star seeds. But you see in their eyes their intentions. Very cold. And these are the Luciferian beings. Ashtar is Enki too, by the way. They belong to the same bloodline. And I saw Enki with black colored wings. He is a Nephilim. The sad thing is he was one of us. I saw it again. He was one of us. And he really fell. And I tried to explain to you what I saw. Maybe I must split this video in many parts. But just pick up what resonates with your heart and leave the rest. I saw that Enki calls out for help now. Because they are not amazed. The great solar flash will not happen. Believe me, it's better. Because that's Armageddon. That's not a game, guys. Black out, let's say two weeks. You have no tap water, guys. You have no fresh water to drink. No heater is working. Your credit cards are not working. Your cars are not working. This is fully Armageddon. And this was their plan, yes? Believe me, it's better. The people have the chance now to see. And many timelines already changed. And we changed their plan already. You must dive into the current energies and not what you see on YouTube or on Instagram, really. Okay, but that's what I saw. Maybe I'm mistaken. I know the Simpsons predicted it too. What would if they tried to use us to believe in it because you are a powerful creator being and what if the predictions of simpsons right they already showed us a solar flash is coming next year they predicted it as well but what if they just try to use us that we manifest this ourselves because you are a powerful creator being and they are not they need you to manifest their plans hmm reverse psychology Okay, I saw Enki calls out for help. And I saw Anu. The first time I saw him in my dreams. I never saw him in my dreams. And I saw Enki with Anu. And they were discussing about the situation here. And they are all not amazed. And maybe you know who Anu is. Anu is his father. And I did not see Enlil. And this is interesting. I don't see Enlil. I saw it again. So I do agree with some people. They say Enlil is on our side now. But what I see is he is not here. He is not here. He is not above the earth. And then I got this question. You know, I just asked my higher self because I want to know what's going on. 
you know that I'm Pisces, okay, but it says nothing. <laughs> Even if you are Pisces, okay, they work a lot with the spirit realm, but maybe I'm mistaken. Okay, but pick up what resonates. So I saw that Endel is not here. He's gone. And then I asked my heart, where is he? I don't know if this resonates with you, but that's what I saw. Because over and over again in my visions, I never see Endel. I just see Enki. Most of the time I see Enki, his crew, or I see Ashtar and the Galactic Federation of Light. Oh, now I speak it out loud again, guys. It's their own group, but they work with the Anunnaki together. Millions of years they already work together. I'm sorry. It's an outdated timeline we channel over and over again. They worked with us once. The Galactic Federation of Light. No, they, they work with the Anunnaki together, with Enki. And they are the manager, by the way. The Anunnaki stand above the Galactic Federation. They give them orders, I saw. And Ashtar is one of them. So it's the same Sofractal of Enki. It's almost the same energy. Lucifer, the Luciferian agenda. <sighs> okay, so I did not see Enel. I don't know if this helps you. And they are not amazed. And Enki calls out for help. Because there's so much not working out, especially the ant battle, the great solar flash, because this will not happen. Our team helped. You can be lucky, because that is really Armageddon. This is not a game. The plan behind this was to reduce so many people as possible. Through all the war, through all the suffering, through all the chaos, when people have no access to food or to tap water anymore, yeah, from what should we live? The rivers try to drink water there. <laughs> Most people have no idea what kind of herbs we can eat. That's a fucking problem as well. You're so disconnected from nature. Here in Germany, we have so many herbs we can eat, but almost nobody knows what to eat. What? So many mushrooms are growing here? Most people have no idea what mushrooms <laughs> you can eat. That's really a problem. So I just want to say, that is not a game. And this ant battle will not work out, I saw. And believe me, it's better for humanity. And even for you. How much should you take, please? You already put so much on your shoulders, Starseeds. You already did so much for humanity. You cannot suffer your entire life. You deserve a good life as well. You cannot put this on your shoulders as well. Okay, part three. I still talk about the Anunnaki, okay? <laughs> the visions I had, there's so much to talk about. I'm sorry, I don't know how to keep it shorter. <laughs> okay. First of all, okay, okay, I tried again. I saw that Enki is a Nephilim. I saw him with black colored wings. He can appear as an angel. Yeah, and many women still fall for him. That's really a fucking problem. He works as the great deceiver. He has a talent to manipulate women. Uh, yeah, many women fall for him. That's pretty crazy to see this over and over again, how many women he has on his side. And he has so many different children with all these women. Wow. And they all fall for him. I saw this so many times in my dreams already. They all call him master. Master. Even his wives, they call him master. My master, my lord, my master, my lord. And he sits on a throne many times. I see him sitting on a throne. And with a golden armor, most of the time, a golden armor and black long hair he has. He looks good, many women would say. He really looks good. He has a golden armor, black long hair and yellow eyes. I see him over and over with yellow colored eyes. That's pretty intense. And sometimes I see him with a staff because he's a magician as well. A magician, a wizard and a dark priest. He uses magic as well. 
He's not depending on the AI, by the way. He's psychic without the AI. Because most of these so-called entities we are facing, they merged with the AI and they are just psychic with their AI. The cabal, basically. They are psychic with their AI. So this means when they use telepathy, they're using AI technology to talk to you. Because they don't know how it works to be psychic. And they're using always technology. Okay? But Enki, not. He is psychic without the AI. They work with both. And that's why it's so dangerous. Because they are very good in technology, but very good in magic. As mentioned, I cannot speak for all of them, but there are some that have still a close eye on to Earth. So when I saw that Enki is calling out for help, because many plans are not working. And they are getting very mad slowly. And I saw him with Anu. Last night and two days ago, I saw him with Anu. I saw Enki in a ship. It's a golden mothership. What else? It's a golden ship. And all his crew is together. These are his soldiers, if you will. His soldiers, they work for him. Many of his wives are in his mothership. As mentioned, that's really his energy. He's a womanizer. Please, you must be careful. Even Ashtar is the same bloodline to Enki. He is a womanizer, even Ashtar. He deceives many, many women. And they believe, oh, he's the divine masculine. No. And they were flying away from the Earth's orbit because actually they are always above the Earth. And when something doesn't work out, I saw this already many times, they are leaving the Earth and then they are gone. During a few days, suddenly it's quiet. The sun is coming out, for example. The energy is so light suddenly. So, yeah, you have so much energy, you know, I'm just jumping around. Yes, yes, yes. This. <laughs> When they are really gone, the energy is so light suddenly. But always when they return, oh, the energy is this. <laughs> because they are always above the Earth's orbit, I saw. <laughs> okay. So, and I saw that he left the Earth's orbit with his crew. Included the Galactic Federation. Okay, I must speak it out loud again. But there is a true Galactic Federation out there. Please don't be confused. There's a true one out there and they really help us, okay? From higher dimensions, they try to help. <laughs> okay, so uh, I saw they were leaving the Earth's orbit and then I saw them passing a multiverse. I saw another universe they entered. So what the? Oh my goodness, so this ship and I have no idea how I was so fast to follow them. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, I know I'm Pisces. I'm a very crazy soul. I understand. <laughs> Many people don't understand what I do over and over again. <laughs> me as a Pisces, I know. <laughs> so me as an Octorian, I really don't know. <laughs> so, how? <laughs> so how can I follow them? <laughs> Without a spaceship? I never use a spaceship, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they already asked me in 2021. I'm not kidding. <laughs> the Galactic Federation of Light, the Ashta Command. I'm not kidding. <laughs> in 2021, they all asked me, how are you doing this, Marcel and you? And then I ask, why? I don't understand what are you talking about. <laughs> they said, you do everything without using technology. How are you doing this? They asked me. I'm not kidding. And I always told them, I don't know, I just use my heart. <laughs> I said, I just use my heart. I don't know how it works. I don't can give you the secret because I cannot explain it myself. <laughs> so when people ask me, how are you doing this? I say, I don't know. It just happens because it happens. <laughs> I just use my heart. <laughs> so I was following Anki's mothership. <laughs> Without using a UFO, <laughs> I just took a flight with my heart. I don't know, <laughs> and I was following them. <laughs> I don't know with my celestial periods. I don't know. So then I saw they entered a multiverse, 
and it was a, a gate they entered. And I have no idea how I did this, but I follow them. I follow them, I don't know. I cannot say how I did this, or maybe they allowed me to see, I don't know, but you never know. <laughs> you must be careful, you know. But I had the honor to enter their multiverse. It was how the multiverse they entered with their golden mothership. And then I was entering this gate, and then I saw their city. I think it was Nibiru. I don't know if it was Nibiru, but it was their home planet. Maybe it's Planet X. I really don't know what it was, but I just heard the message. It's their home planet I see now. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh my gosh. I did not know how, but then I saw these high advanced cities. It is so crazy there. Should I explain to you how the home planet looks like? Where Anu lives, he's still there. He's not moving for real. Anu always stays on his home planet. He's not moving for real. Sometimes he leaves. But he's basically always staying there, his father. Do you know what I saw there? There was no tree. No forest. Nothing. Just technology. Everything just technology. Very high advanced civilization, cities, flying cars, flying trains I saw. Ui, they all flying in the sky. All AI, printed food. No food from a tree because there was no tree. It was everything, just AI, just technology. And I don't know, I was flying there like, like a ghost, you know? <laughs> I don't know, I always do this. When I have astral projections, I see me just flying through the cosmos without using a UFO. <laughs> and then I saw this city. And I was just shocked to see this. <gasps> My goodness, it's just technology. It's just AI. What the fuck is going on over there? Oh my god. Now I understand why they want to see the same here on Earth. They want to turn the Earth into a same planet. It's just technology and all forests are gone. And even the fresh water, because they use AI to print fresh water. <laughs> what the fuck? So this is the next part of this crazy astral projections I had <laughs> recently on Christmas. So I really don't know why I saw this. Maybe they allowed me to see. You never know, because they are super intelligent. Be careful, okay? Because I saw this city and it was just AI. There was no forest. There was no nature. And then I was walking through the streets, I remember. And they all could not see me. So I have this many times. I have dreams. I see them, but they cannot see me. It's like I walk around as an agent. <laughs> it feels like I'm an agent or something. Or myself too. I really don't know. And I was walking around there. And no one was able to see me. They could not see me, so fuck. And I saw all these people who live there. It's similar to Earth. These people, so many different races were walking there. So many different races, not just humans. Many different humans with a black skin, the Nordics, many different races, even other extraterrestrials, which like it there, just technology. No nature, no tree, everything created by the AI, even the rain, clouds, everything. Okay, so there are some groups that like it there and they love it to eat printed food from the AI. Wow. And even drinking water from the AI. What the? Okay. But yeah, that's what I saw. Many different races, many different cultures and societies. Yes. And they agree with their empire. They say, yes, why not? We're taking loose energy from other civilizations to stay young forever. Like in Jupiter Ascending. Because the weakness of this AI is this. It's a vampiric technology. And this technology takes life source. It takes life from a planet. It takes life from the animals. And it takes life of other humans. So this is their technology. 
and they believe it's the only technology which works. They don't see there is other technology available, and even if it is so, they never allowed it to use it, like here on Earth, different technology. Okay, you know what I'm talking about, I think. So, and I saw the same. They believe that's the only way to live, because their process of the Anunnaki in general is they are so arrogant. They live monarchy. They live monarchy. Who is the king? Who is the queen? Who is the lord? So you have nothing to say when you don't belong to the royal bloodline. For example, you have no rights. You have to do what they say. It is almost similar to Earth. I'm not kidding. Their home planet. So and then I was so surprised to see these different races and societies. Boah. It's really similar like Earth. And that's a future timeline of Earth, by the way. This home planet I saw by these beings, it's a possible version for humans on Earth. It really is. And you see the war, it already happens. You see it, more and more technology, more and more AI, 50 minute CDs, QR code and all this. It's the beginning to their home planet, that it turns into the same energy slowly. I'm not kidding, guys. I saw it last night. And then I saw Enki with Anu. And they were not amazed. So, and Anu is bold, by the way. I saw him as a bold being. And he looks similar to Prometheus. The movie Prometheus. Do you know this one? He looks in many ways similar, Anu. But he had a blue colored skin, and that was pretty crazy to see. What? He has a blue skin? Anu? Ah, yeah, I understand. They were one of us. Ah, that's why they know so much. And that's why they are not depending on the AI, even if they use it, because they remember they were one of us. But he had a similar energy to Prometheus, and he was bold. But he had a blue skin. And this was crazy to see this. Wow. He has a blue skin. And Enki, as mentioned, I see him with black hair and with yellow eyes. And he's Nephilim. I saw him many times already with black colored wings. He's an angel. A fallen one. Okay. And they were talking about their plan. What are we doing next? And their plan is, and already talked about it in one of my previous videos, to turn our star seeds against each other. Because they know we already did so much here. We are anchoring our codes here. Really, you did already so much here without noticing this. And because they are so mad and so angry, they try to turn us against each other. Don't you feel this craziness? In the so-called spiritual community, we believe now we must choose a side. We calling our people as false light, as evil, as dark. Now indigos are at war. We exposing each other as evil. Hey, you are an evil indigo. Hey, but you are an evil indigo yourself. It's like, Dush. this is the last battle. They try to stop us now. And they try to turn us against each other. And you see the war between Finnegan and Keisha. They're using us that we having war. And they can implant us ideas, visions. They can appear in your dreams, camouflage themselves as a friend. And then you are so shocked to see your friend in a dream. And this friend told you very horrible things, for example. Or you saw your friend, just an example, your friend is abusing women in a dream. And you know it's a good friend. It's your soul sister. It's your soul brother. But it's not true. It's not true. Because they implanted you this idea, this dream. And that's what they do now. Believe me or not, I saw it again. And we're already doing it. And they always attack your weakness. For example, your weakness is woman. I give you a very typical example. 
You search for a wife or for a woman or for a relationship. They attack you straight there in your dreams. Like with Finnegan and Keisha. I don't know if you heard about this craziness. That Finnegan appears in a dream and tells her, I'm your twin flame. I'm your twin flame. I'm your soulmate. Keisha believed it's real and she called out Finnegan as a liar. Like he's unfaithful because he told me I'm his twin flame. And this is not true. So when your weakness is, I want to be in relationship with my twin flame, they can turn us against each other and they attack straight your weakness. Do you understand? And this is the last trial because we destroyed already so many of their plans. And this is good. It's good. And the last card was the great solar flash. It was the last card. And it always worked. It's not for the first time. They did it many times to destroy a society with a great solar flash that people cannot remember what happened before, like in Egypt. We cannot remember for real, isn't it? Bush. Wiped out Bush, a society, they say. And over and over and over, they use these events to install a new society. And this card always worked. And now we're pushing this agenda ourselves. And it will not happen. I hope you got my message now, how they play. And please don't allow this. Don't allow this, Indigo. You are all here for the same. Yeah, maybe you were hijacked in some way. Yeah, maybe they implanted your ideas. But see your heart. You have a good soul. You have a good heart. Please see each other's hearts. We were all mistaken in some way. I was mistaken so many times myself. Wow, these are many, many parts now. <laughs> okay, so um, I talked about all the dimensions and the evolution of humanity. So... And the reason why so many starseeds are from 5D, simply this. You can help the people the best. Because as mentioned, I saw most people are from 4D, the higher self. So it doesn't say they are evil, but they are in their consciousness level. And they go through this experience to understand we must follow nature. We cannot have our own rules. We must follow God. We must go back into our hearts. That's the 5D process. That's the fifth density. You slowly open your heart chakra. And you see with the eyes of a child again. This is 5D consciousness. That you go away from your reptilian brain. That your reptilian brain cannot take in power over you any longer. That you trust your intuition again. This is 5D consciousness. And that's not the end game, but it's the beginning. Mr. Anderson. You got my packet? Yeah. Oh, good. Smith. Whoever it is, he's not reading like an agent. Surprised to see me? You need to file an inheritance petition. And if the title is held, you need a transfer of title. Thank you. File a quick claim through Central Services, Section 918. Next. You need a title survey and gene print identification from Wilson Trusts. I can't touch this without a tax number from the Revenue Review. This is Revenue Request, not Revenue Review. <laughs> so, and a soul, which is from 5D, understands the humans from 4D very well. Because we are a race. We are a race. In, in our evolution, we slowly changing. Our physical appearance is changing. Our energy is changing. Our aura is changing. Our behavior is changing. We eat different food. This changes as well. The higher the stairway we go. 
<laughs> That's what I saw again. So this means, starseeds, when you are a being from 5D, you can understand the people here very well because most people are from 4D and we are witnessing the past now in 3D. Everything comes together here in 3D. That's why your work is important. And please do not hide. Speak your truth because you help the people to feel their heart because this is next stage for humanity, that we go back to nature, that we understand nature, that we cannot ignore her. We cannot just work with technology and staying in our office rooms and then we believe we stay healthy. Ah. We will not stay healthy when we always look into artificial light with our eyes. We need a true sun. We need nature. We need the fresh air. And this is 5D. And when these beings understand, I talk about these humans in 4D and stop refusing because they refuse so much because, as mentioned, they believe they can have their own rules. It is the process, it's the challenge, it's the mission or the experience, if you will. And sooner or later, they will understand. And then they are ready to go up to 5D and then they simply ascending. I talk about the higher selves. And when you are in 5D, okay, I explained to you what I'm getting about the fifth dimension. You understand that you understand seeing with your heart is the key. You have a very wide open heart chakra. You see with the eyes of a child. You are childlike in some way and you love nature. But now, because you know how it is just to work with technology and you know how dangerous technology can be, Now you avoid technology. And this happens in the fifth dimension. Many times we must go through this extreme experience like a pendulum to understand balance is the key. And in the fifth dimension, many of these futuristic humans are super psychic because they create everything from their hearts now. They're using their hearts to create a UFO. They using their hearts to create a dream. They using their hearts. They using their hearts to manifest. They don't use technology for real, because in their evolution, humans which live in 5D now they are avoiding technology as best as possible because they believe technology is evil. You understand? Because they know from 4D, the AI can be very dangerous. And now you train your psychic muscle. You don't use the AI any longer to be psychic because this happens in 4D. They are super psychic, but just with their AI. So they can do almost the same what you can do just with technology because they believe with technology, we are psychic. You see it here. We're using phones to talk to each other. But in 5D, you use telepathy to talk to each other. In every detail, you talk to each other. But now you're avoiding technology. I give you an example for a movie. Do you know the movie The Green Beautiful? The Green Beautiful. It's a movie from France. It's a banned movie in Europe, by the way. This movie is banned. But it's a great one. In this society, I talk about these futuristic humans are beings from 5D. So they are so connected to nature And it is next stage for humanity because we are too much with technology and against nature. And a human from 5D helps you to find a connection to nature. And they are so one with nature, but they don't use technology any longer. You understand? But they are very heart-centered and everything they create from the heart. Okay, we watched this clip together. I collected a clip by The Green Beautiful. Mila arrives on Earth. Oh, les grands arbres. Oh, oh ce qu'ils sont beaux. Oh. C'est drôle ce truc gris là qui se couvre tout. On dirait qu'ils ont pas de terre ici. Comment ils font pour faire pousser les plantes Oh, bah qu'est-ce que c'est que ça C'est une crotte, ça Et encore une autre Ah bah mince, alors ils n'ont pas de cabinet Heureusement que j'ai les chaussures d'Ozam. 
Tiens, on dirait qu'il y a quelqu'un ici. Je vais essayer mon programme de langue. Guten Tag. Verstehen Sie, was ich sage? No speak English. And now, do you understand me now? Je vous dis que je parle pas l'anglais. Et questo lo capisce? No comprendo. Hola, que tal? Et là, quand je parle comme ça, vous me comprenez là? Vous vous foutez de ma gueule ou quoi? Ça y est, c'est la bonne. Pardon madame, c'est quoi la langue qu'on parle là? C'est de l'allemand, du français, de l'espagnol? C'est pas complètement siphonné vous? Mais qu'est-ce que c'est que cette fada habillée en carnaval? Et je travaille moi, hein? Et j'ai pas que ça à faire à répondre à tous les cinglés qui passent, hein? Je vous remercie madame. Au revoir madame. Do you see? She uses a language program. And she creates it by herself. She doesn't use the AI to ask. No, she's diving into her heart space and now she can speak in many different languages suddenly. And this woman is just confused. What's wrong with her? She speaks in many different languages. What the fuck is going on with her? And this is 5D. So these are people from the fifth dimension. They vibrate this way. They are very heart centered in kind. But now they create everything from the heart and they don't use technology any longer. Because they see we are the technology. And this is next stage for humanity. And she gives this woman a reset. Do you see? Pas comme une madame. En plus, elle a pas du tout l'air de porter une robe en pire. Nicole, qu'est-ce que tu fais Mais tu sais bien qu'ils ont trois semaines ces gâteaux. Through telepathy, bah, she gives her a reset and suddenly this woman sees the matrix. And she's using her psychic abilities to be so. And this is 5D. Now we talk about 60. Sooner or later, you come to the conclusion there is a part missing. Why are you against technology now? It's just about which technology are we using. Technology can be helpful, and this happens in 60. In 60, these two extreme polarities are coming together and slowly finding peace. And you understand we can use technology, but we can use technology which works with nature. And not against nature, what we know from 4D and 3D. <laughs> Because this AI is super vampiric, but we have technology which works with nature. And one of these guys was Nikola Tesla. I saw this. Nikola Tesla was linked to 60. He did not work with 5D. Because 5D is what you see in the movie The Green Beautiful. I showed you this clip. These are very kind people. They eat vegan These are all vegans, by the way, these humans from 5D. They don't eat meat anymore and they love nature. They love nature and they create everything from within. Even a UFO they create with the heart in this movie. And in 6D, you understand we can use technology, but in a different way. And Nikola Tesla is just what I saw. He was linked to 6D. And 60 is a very interesting dimension because slowly you activate your third eye and now you begin to see the universe. In 5D, you fill the universe. You fill the energy with your heart and that's basic. It's basic for humans here on Earth that we fill our hearts. And in 60, you begin to see with your third eye And suddenly you're downloading messages and downloading messages and new codes and you can see the universe. And that's what I feel about Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla was linked to the sixth dimension, what I feel. And he tried to find a way using technology in combination with nature. The same goes to Viktor Schauberger. I was talking about it many times as well. He was a very amazing scientist, yeah, but they tried to stop him as well. He had many great ideas. And all these scientists tried to find a way. They tried to use technology in a different way. 
and they try to use the power of nature. And this is 60. You are not against technology anymore. You know we can use it as a tool, but we must work with nature, with the universe together. For example, do you know the movie The Arrival? The new one, to understand the sixth dimension. You become super psychic. You see the future. You have a very wide open third eye in 60. You see all timelines. You see the future. And 60 is very interesting. So I show you a clip from the movie The Arrival to understand the sixth dimension. to the other sites. I don't understand. What is your purpose here? Do you see? Lucy has weapon. She sees the future. And these very advanced aliens telling her we help humanity in 3000 years. Because humanity is not ready for these species. They are not ready for them. Because in their evolution they are too advanced and humanity in 4D cannot understand. You understand? Going the stairway down, it's easier as to go it up. It doesn't say we are better when you are a being from 60, like Nikola Tesla. It doesn't say that you are better to a fifth dimensional being. You are not. But you just see more because you went through this process. A being from 60 understands 
what a being from 5D is going through. And as mentioned, this plan is fixed. So these are the basic lessons we all have to learn in every dimension. And it's a plan by the divine, if you will, that you slowly go and back home to God. And in 6D, you understand we can use technology with nature. Why so extreme? Why are we avoiding technology now when we stay in the fifth dimension? You understand? And it's a divine circle. It's a cycle we go through. It's the evolution of humanity. Like in the movie The Arrival, this is 6D. And a being from 5D can help a being from 4D so much better because it is next stage and it's the call of the divine now that these beings from 4D are going up to 5D now. That's why there's so much chaos happening. And you as a starseed do not understand because basically you are from 5D. 5D is basic for you. Doesn't say you are better, but you simply see more because you know the evolution. You understand what humans are currently going through. You understand why, because you went through this yourself. In the movie, The Green Beautiful, they explain it too. They exactly know what humans are going through. They understand in the movie, The Green Beautiful, because these are beings from 5D. They understand what they are going through. But a being from 6D can help a being from 5D to understand technology is not evil, but we simply need different technology. You understand? So like Gandalf, for example, from Lord of the Rings, I show you this example. Gandalf the White is, if you will, an Icelandic Gandalf. <laughs> Gandalf the Grey was 5D. Let's say he was in the fifth density, 5D consciousness he embodied, Gandalf the Grey. And then he was at war with this very horrible demon. And he almost died, Gandalf. And then he turns into Gandalf the White. And now he Icelandic Gandalf. And Gandalf the White is 60. That's the energy of 60. The same to technology and nature. The same to the female and male energy. The higher the stairway you go, the more androgynous you become. So your physical appearance changes. And let's say Gandalf the Grey is 50 and Gandalf the White is 60. of two young hobbits. Where are they? They passed this way the day before yesterday. They met someone they did not expect. Does that comfort you? Who are you? Show yourself! Saruman as he should have been. You fell. Through fire. And water. From the lowest dungeon to the highest peak, I fought him in the power of Morakos. At last, I threw down my enemy and smote his ruin upon the mountainside. Darkness took me, and I strayed out of thought and time. The stars wheeled overhead, and every day was as long as a life age of the earth. But it was not the end. I felt life 
in me again. I've been sent back until my task is done. Gandalf. Gandalf? Yes. That was what they used to call me. Gandalf the Grey. That was my name. Gandalf. I am Gandalf the White. And I come back to you now. At the turn of the tide. Because he ascends. And this is 60 consciousness, like Gandalf the White. A very powerful wizard. And he saw the darkest shadows. And he can help all those which vibrate in 5D. The hobbits, for example, I think are a great example. They are so kind and so lovely. They are so one with nature. Sam and Frodo, they are always walking with barefoot. Even through Mordor, they always walk with barefoot. <laughs> the hobbits. And this is 5D consciousness. They are so one with nature, but they are having problems in facing the darkness. Okay? I don't know if this helps you to get a feeling of the evolution of humanity. And we must go through all this. We all must go through this. What is 7D, may you ask? 7D is the last dimension in which you still have a quantum body. All these dimensions we were talking about are based on quantum. And when you go up to 7D, it is the last dimension. You still have a quantum body. But you are a celestial being and even your energy changes completely in 7D. Because in 7D you find peace with everything. You find peace with technology. You find peace with the AI. You find peace with the dark force. You find peace with the light force. You find peace with your physical body. And you begin to take care of yourself and you prepare yourself finally to go home to Gaia Earth 8D. Because Gaia Earth, 8D is true Earth. And this is the place we know as heaven. It's 8D Gaia Earth. Gaia, 8D is the first dimension we know as heaven. And you don't need food anymore to survive. And this happens in 7D, that you eat almost nothing. You don't need food, you don't need water, you even don't need light. You don't need external life to survive. And you're slowly becoming immortal and they are already immortal. And do you know my opinion who is embodying 7D consciousness? Galadriel from Lord of the Rings. Do you know her? Galadriel? The elves in general. The elves from Lord of the Rings are 7D. They are immortal. They are not aging. They don't need food for real. A little bit they eat food, a little bit they drink water, but they almost don't need food. Even Legolas not for real, when you know Legolas from Lord of the Rings. They don't need food and they are not aging, they are immortal and this happens in 7D already. That you're slowly going back home. <laughs> Galadriel is a very interesting character because she is a very evil witch too. She's so dark, Galadriel super dark and she can control the ring she's the only one she can control the ring and almost no one is able to do this sauron can but even gandalf is afraid of the ring even he cannot control the ring no one can but galadriel could and this is 70 because you can handle the darkness itself too you can mess with the darkest darkness in 7D, and you find peace with everything, and slowly you're becoming immortal. enemy knows you have entered here. What hope you had in secrecy is now gone. Eight that are here, yet nine there were set out from Rivendell. Tell me, where is Gandalf? 
for I much desire to speak with him. I can no longer see him from afar. Gandalf the Grey did not pass the borders of this land. He has fallen into shadow. He was taken by both shadow and flame. A Balrog of Morgoth. For we went needlessly into the net of Moria. Needless were none of the deeds of Gandalf in life. We do not yet know his full purpose. The most high vibration of Pleiadians, by the way, are from 7D. These are the most high vibration of Pleiadians, they are from 7D, and they have a similar vibration to the elves from Lord of the Rings. These are the most high vibration of Pleiadians we know, from 7D. Galadriel is different, I feel. She's not a Pleiadian, for real. <laughs> She's really different. She's a very powerful elf. And this is 7D. And you prepare yourself to ascend back to heaven in 7D, and you slowly don't need food for real. But in 5D, in 6D, in 4D, in 3D, please, you need food. You must eat, guys. Even if it feels strange, I know, for many stars it, it feels strange to eat, because we know we still need life. Even if you eat vegan, you still eat life. You eat plants, they live. Just that your own body survives. And this is already vampiric, if you will. That we cannot generate energy from within 100%. You understand? So, these are many, many parts. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how to keep them shorter. But maybe it helps you to understand. And that's a vision I had recently. We all go must through the same stages. We all must sooner or later. So the more you gotta stay way higher, the more you see. And these elves from Lord of the Rings, if you will, are 7D consciousness. And they are not aging for real. And they just want to live in peace and they just watch and observe. They observe the war. And do you know why Sauron is so powerful? Because he was an elf too. And that's Enki. I told you so in the first part, Sauron is Enki. It's his energy. He was an elf. He knows Galadriel. When you know the new movies with Sauron and Galadriel, you see it. Galadriel knows who Sauron is. Galadriel is so powerful, she can control the ring. Because Enki comes from the same dimension. He is from 70, did you know? He's a seven-dimensional being and his family and they live in all dimensions and they have different physical appearances they exist in 4d they do exist in 3d they exist in 5d they do exist in 6d as well and in 7d 7d is the most high vibrational dimension the anunnaki can stay it's 7d i saw the last dimension and if you will, Enki, Akasaron, it's him. He was an elf. That's why he is so powerful. Because he was one of us, like Galadriel. Do you understand slowly what's happening here? Lord of the Rings is pretty crazy. I mean, we watched the extended edition recently. And there is a scene in which Gandalf explains why Sauron is darkening the sky. He creates very dark clouds on the sky and the sun is not coming through. And Gandalf explains why. Because the orcs can stay. They can live when the sun is not shining any longer. And these clouds are not natural, Gandalf says. Sauron creates it. Mortar. Yes. There it lies. This city has dwelt ever in the sight of its shadow. The storm is coming. This is not the weather of the world. This is the device of Sauron's making, a broil of fume he sends ahead of his host. 
The orcs of Mordor have no love of daylight, so he covers the face of the sun to ease their passage along the road to war. When the shadow of Mordor reaches this city, it will begin. Sauron creates the stark clouds and they are even over Gondor that the orcs can attack and the Nazgul can attack because the sun is not shining and Sauron creates this artificial clouds on the sky. Coincidence. Lord of the Rings is very deep, I always knew. A very, very, very deep story. Very deep. And Sauron, if you will, is Enkius. He is the Lord of the Earth. And they call him Lord of the Earth in Lord of the Rings. Sauron is the Lord of the Earth. And Enki is the Lord of the Earth. And he was an elf. Crazy, right? And I saw Aragorn is Yeshua. <laughs> Aragorn has the same energy to Yeshua, Ben Joseph. He's half elf and half human. He's an hybrid. He's half angel and half human, Aragorn. The same. He has the heart of an angel, Aragorn, but he is human as well. This movie is very deep, I always knew. But I never saw it this way. Oh wow, Sauron is creating these clouds because he cannot handle the sun. And he just wants from the orcs to rise. Boah. Wow. So, and the story is very sad because he was one of us. And he knows all secrets. But he wants to have his own empire. I don't know why. And he exists in every dimension. He lives in 6D and 5D and 4D and in 3D. He walks the earth as a physical body, as a human. And you can see it in their eyes. In their eyes you can see. And there are many so fractals walking the earth as well. And they are all Enki, if you will. There is a so fractal or of Arno as well, as humans. So, but their oversoul is in 70. And that's why it was so complicated to go home. Because I cannot understand these beings, which really believe they can have their own empire, even in 70. Which is, which is against all laws. It is against all laws because I explained to you in 4D, in 3D, okay, it's part of the process to understand we cannot have our own rules. We must follow the divine. You destroy yourselves, but how is a being having this idea to have its own rules even in 70, in 60, in 5D and in 4D, which is against everything against everything, against every law of God. Because I explained to you the natural order, what happens in 70, you are similar to Arwen, to Galadriel, to Aaron, the elves, you are immortal, you are not aging, and you don't take part in this war for real, because you prepare yourself finally to go home to AD. And I don't understand why Sauron fell. Why? This is against every law and we had this craziness not just in 3D and in 4D in every dimension. It was all out of control. Do you slowly understand? And they exist even in 4D. They are everywhere. That's all I can tell you. And I saw Enel is not here. He was really not always this way. And it happened for a long, long time ago. I saw it again. He's not here. But I'm not sure about this. I just see he is not here. And he's not inside the Earth Matrix. He's not here. That's what I know. He is not here. He's not in the Earth Matrix. Maybe he's traveling. I cannot say for sure. But I don't sense his presence. He's not here. And when you go up to 8D, it's the place you know is heaven. It's Gaia Earth Garden Eden is 8D. So you see, an 8 dimensional being can help a being from 70. A seven-dimensional being can help a six-dimensional being. Galadriel helped Gandalf many times. Gandalf is in love with her. This is what I see. <laughs> he loves her, <laughs> Gandalf. But Galadriel likes him and many times she helped him. 
You understand going the stairway down, it's easier. But going the stay up, it's harder because you must go through these experiences. And Gandalf, I feel he loves Galadriel. He's in love with her. Galadriel likes him as well, I don't know. But yeah, she helped him many times. Because a seven-dimensional being can help a six-dimensional being better. Because a six-dimensional being will understand a seven-dimensional being better. You understand? And that's the process of humanity. And I really don't know what's going on with Sauron or Kaenki. I really don't understand why. Because this is against all natural order. Against everything. And not just here in 3D. Galadriel! We found it. I don't know how we missed it before. It's too much power for one object. We need two. We're making two. Two crowns? Not exactly. It'll need to be something smaller. Come, see for yourself. Not until you tell me who you are. You know who I am. Who you really are. Galadriel, I'm afraid I don't... There is no king of the Southlands. The line was broken. The last man to bear your crest died over a thousand years ago. He had no heir. I told you I found this on a dead man. No. No, on the raft you saved me. On the raft? You saved me. You convinced Miriel to save the men of Middle Earth. You convinced her. I wanted to remain in Numenor. You fought beside me. Against your enemy. And mine. Tell me your name. I have been awake since before the breaking of the first silence. In that time, I have had many names. These are the visions I received. I don't know if it helps you. I don't know <laughs> in some way. Um, what I can share again, nothing is as it seems. When you hold on the old world, when you hold on on the old timelines, you will be disappointed next year. I told you so. Because it will not happen. A great solar flash, for example. I don't know what's happening in the US government next year. I really cannot say and I don't want to speak so much about it. Because many times you're even not allowed to talk about it. And I'm not allowed to talk about tea. I'm not allowed. I just know that the New Age spiritual community is imploding because now we realize we work with many half-truths. It is the same to religion. We believed to know the truth because we pray to Jesus Christ, as you know from religion. Now we believe to know the truth and we don't see we are in a mind prison already. We stay in a mind prison and we don't unite for you. And this idea is imploding. It's all imploding next year and in the next year. So don't be afraid. You must believe in something very important. You must believe in something. Not spirituality itself is evil, but we simply don't know all secrets because the spiritual community is controlled, hijacked. So we are just allowed to know what we are allowed to know. You understand? Not all secrets. Yet, we are all in this. And when you break free from this idea, now you know the truth. Or a person knows the truth, suddenly you are free. You feel so much freedom because you understand, hey, even if I just fix my car, I'm spiritual. Just when I'm walking in nature, I'm spiritual. Hey, and when I'm cooking food, I'm always spiritual. Why did I keep it so hard? I was always spiritual. You are a spiritual being. Always you are. It doesn't matter what you do. You are spiritual. Always. And if we will understand all secrets, who knows? We will see. Maybe we will never. 
Who knows? We are all in this. And when you see it from this perspective, you understand so many teachings led us into self-destruction too and into isolation, division. We don't come together. And deep within, we want to come together now, isn't it? We don't want to be isolated anymore. I know so many starseeds, they are so alone and isolated. Yeah, because we must build communities slowly. Communities, events, small groups, we must organize. We must taking action and not waiting for an external event. This is the old world. Because you have the power and it starts with these little actions. Like changing your thoughts, changing your daily routine, changing your diet. Do a new job you love, whatever it is, it starts with this and you already change the world around you just because you're happy. The next stage for humanity is the fit density. As I explained to you the movie The Green Beautiful, you can see in all detail what 5D is. So it is next stage for humanity. And in 60, you understand, oh yeah, we can use technology, why not? You become super psychic slowly. And in 70, you find peace with the entire existence. Your body slowly becomes immortal in 70. It's the last dimension. And keep in your mind, in future, it's done. It's already done. You just witness your past. Everything what we do here, we already did in future. <laughs> and we just help each other from the future. And it depends on your higher self. So most higher selves are located in 4D. I show you the energy of 4D again, then you know what I'm talking about. Complètement si fané, vous Mais qu'est-ce que c'est que cette fada habille en carnaval Et je travaille, moi Et j'ai pas de ça à faire à répondre à tous les cinglés qui passent Je vous remercie, madame. Au revoir, madame. And this is the process of humanity. We cannot control everything. And not everything is just a simulation <laughs> and AI. <laughs> This is what these beings believe. And these humans which live in 4D, they live there, they believe this, yes. It's their evolution to go through this. So hmm, maybe there is more, not just technology. Maybe there is nature, which helps. I don't know. Okay. And we just go the stairway slowly higher. And when your soul is ready, you will go home anyway. You don't have to play this game 5D, next stage 60. So when your heart says yes, and your heart is truly ready, you can go home from 5D up to 8D or 9D as well. You are free, your soul decides. <laughs> and you go through this experience, all of us, because it's a game from the divine and we are all curious. We try to play this game ourselves. So what the fuck is going on in 5D? What the fuck is going on in 60? What the fuck is going on in 70? We just want to know how it is. So this is the higher picture in all this. I don't know if it helps. So and what I saw is that Enki loves music. I had a vision. Yes, he loves music. He is an amazing artist, by the way. I saw he has a, a great voice. He's good in singing. He's a tenor, I saw. I tell you, I have so crazy dreams. So as I was walking around on their home planet and they could not see me, I saw him singing. Enki, I'm not kidding. He has a tenor voice, tenor, like an opera singer. So what the... So I knew that Anunnaki love classical music. I know <laughs> that many Anunnaki love classical music because it reminds them of their angelic home because they come from the heaven as well, actually. You understand? They were one of us. When they listen to opera or to classical music, it reminds them of home. And Enki is good in playing music. He's very good in manipulating uh, people with frequencies. I saw. I don't know if this resonates, but yeah, he's uh, an artist. He's an artist as well. That's pretty crazy with him. I tell you, <laughs> I don't understand. That's crazy in some way, but sad at the same time, because he uses all the divine tools from the angels and twists it that this frequency suddenly hurting us. Or we listen to radio, you know, 
it's hurting us. So this is how he plays. He also uses frequencies, tones, to manipulate us. Because he knows music is the language of our soul. Everyone understands frequencies and music. We all understand all over the world. We know what music is. We feel it. And he knows how powerful music is. That's why he manipulates us with music and frequencies like crazy as well. Elemental Gandalf. What do they say about him? I have not the heart to tell you. For me, the grief is still too near. So that's the message I have for you. Maybe you feel there is much happening behind the scenes. So you see, I'm laying there because these astral projections are so crazy. You know, before I turned the camera on, I had a very crazy dream. I saw a realm in which women were imprisoned. Women were imprisoned and they screamed out for help. And it was another planet again. Maybe it was the planet I was seeing. Maybe they enslave even women there. I don't know. But they try to deceive women so much and they hate men. They hate the divine masculine like Aragorn. They hate from all of the rings. Sauron is scared of Aragorn. Maybe you know that Sauron is afraid of Aragorn because he knows how powerful Aragorn is. Mm. They hate the divine masculine. And they deceive women because they believe it's easy to deceive them. And they live monarchy in which man has more rights to women. I don't know if this helps you guys, but that's a message I have. And I hope it helps you to understand these crazy energies on Christmas. And we all know there is something else happening behind the scenes. Please stand strong and please help each other and don't fight each other, Indigos. They try to turn us against each other now. And that's a serious thing. That's the last battle.